welcome. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Christine. I've been volunteering at Adaptive for a little bit now, and I've been a yoga teacher for a little over a year. Today's class is going to be predominantly breathing exercises, but we will start off by doing a little bit of movement just to get into our bodies and prepare for sitting in meditation and doing these breathing exercises. The entire practice will be done seated. So whether you are on the ground like I am, in a chair, on the couch, wherever it is that you find yourself today, that you are comfortable and supported and stable in your seat. We're going to start off just finding ourselves in that nice easy seat, sitting our spine up as tall as we can, as tall as is comfortable. Placing our hands on tops of our legs, palms facing up. Closing our eyes if you are comfortable doing so. If you would rather keep them open, you can softly gaze at a single point of focus in front of you. And we'll take a few moments to arrive in our practice, to settle down, letting go of any outside thoughts. This time is for you. Everything else can wait. If you would like to practice with an intention, I invite you to do so now. It could be the reason that you showed up today. It could be the reason that you practice in general. It should be a short and simple statement that comes naturally. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose and sigh it out. Another deep breath in through your nose, sigh it out. You turn to a natural breath in and out through your nose. Open up your eyes if they were closed and begin to move your fingers around, bringing movement back into your body. Take your hands, place them palms facing down on tops of your knees and inhale, pull your chest forward, elbows back, lift your chin, cow pose. Exhale, cat, round the spine, tilt your tailbone down. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, back. Two more times, inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale, come back to center, palms facing down. And on your exhale, drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Keeping both shoulders down as you do so, not letting that left one lift up as you lean over. Keeping your face facing forward and taking nice deep breaths, stretching into the left side of your neck. Take a nice deep breath in. And exhale, drop your chin to your chest. Inhale, bring your head back up. Exhale, left ear to left shoulder. Keep both shoulders down, especially that right one, not letting it creep up with that stretch in your neck. Noticing any tension or any resistance and just breathing into it, being aware of it.
Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, bring your head back up. Keep your hands where they are. And on your exhale, just twist to the right. Just finding a gentle twist. Both hands stay on tops of your knees. Keeping your hips facing forward as you twist. And now come back to center. Exhale, slight twist to the left hand, stay where they are, hips stay facing forward. Slight twist from the torso. Inhale, come back to center. And on your exhale, just slide out. We're going to move into the breathing exercise portion of our class. So find a nice, comfortable seat, making any adjustments that you might need to to be comfortable and to be prepared to sit for an extended period of time. Place your hands gently on tops of your legs, whether you want them in front of you or you want to keep them on tops of your knees. Just finding what feels comfortable for you, what feels natural. If you would like to close your eyes, I invite you to do so, or you can keep them open. It is your choice. We're going to start off with sitting with our natural breath for a few moments, just inhaling and exhaling through your nose with no control, no effort. Observing the natural rhythm of your inhales and exhales in and out through your nose. Observing without any judgment or attachment. And if any thoughts pop up, just let them go and return to your breath. Notice the pauses in between your inhales and exhales. That's where the true magic of our breath lies, is in those moments of stillness. Our first breathing exercise will be equal breathing. We'll start off by inhaling for a count of three, exhaling for a count of three, then moving up to four, and then five. This is a really wonderful way to begin breath work, to begin working on that control of your breath, and it can help you just balance out and enter into a place of meditation. Counting your inhales and exhales is a form of meditation, so it's a nice introductory exercise for everyone to just get into that mode of breath work. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale out. Inhale for one, two, three. Exhale for three, two, one. Inhale for one, two, three. Exhale for three, two, one. Inhale for one, two, three. Exhale for three, two, one. Inhale for one, two, three. Exhale three, two, one. Inhale one, two, three. Exhale three, two, one. Inhale one, two, three. 
Exhale, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Return to your natural breath. Letting go of the counting, letting go of the effort, control, and just letting your breath flow naturally in and out through your nose. Taking a few moments between each exercise to cleanse your palate, to let any energy that you may create or let go, just letting it settle. Maybe observing any changes that you notice in your natural breath and just doing so without any judgment, any attachment, just observing them. Next few exercises we're going to do, we're going to work on building heat and having that theme of fire and warmth, especially as we enter these colder months of the year, some places already experiencing winter-like weather. The next exercise we're going to do is called Ujjayi Pranayama. It is the breath that you would traditionally use in a vinyasa yoga class, any class that is breath to movement. To practice this, you will be inhaling and exhaling through your nose with a slight constriction in the back of your throat. So imagine you're swallowing something and you want to stop it. You didn't mean to swallow it. And it's that slight constriction. And when you do that, inhaling and exhaling through your nose with that constriction in your throat, it creates an audible sound with every inhale and exhale. It almost sounds like an oceanic sound or a Darth Vader sound. We have three bandhas in our body, and the top one being in our throat. So when we create this 
roadblock. It allows us to heat up our body and create energy within our body. And that's why it is traditionally used in vinyasa yoga, because we're creating heat, creating energy. This is really nice to use when you get cold or when you're feeling tired in the middle of the day. Just doing this for a couple of rounds can make a pretty big difference. We're going to take a nice deep breath in. Exhale out. Begin to inhale and exhale through your nose with that slight constriction in the back of your throat, creating an audible sound with each and every breath. It's okay if your inhales are not as smooth as your exhales with that constriction. Imagine you are creating heat with every exhale and every inhale, and you're creating energy with each breath. Fully focusing on your breath, on your inhales and exhales through your nose with that slight constriction in the back of your throat, hearing the audible oceanic sound with each and every inhale and exhale. If any thoughts pop up, just let them go and return to your breath. This is a new practice for you. Do your best. Keep trying. The more you practice, the easier it gets. Take a few more breaths like this. Breathing in and out through your nose with a slight constriction in the back of your throat. One more breath. And on your next inhale, let go of that constriction in your throat and return to your natural breath in and out through your nose. Letting it flow without any effort or control. Finding complete stillness in your body and mind as you just observe your breath. The next exercise we're going to do is called Breath of Fire. It is a wonderful way to create energy like the previous exercise, but also allows you to release tension, release stagnant energy, and it can help balance out your ego and your relationship with your ego. Because our ego is a necessary part of ourselves, but sometimes it gets in the way. To practice, you can either keep your hands down on your legs or you can lift them up in a cheerleader Y shape, fist closed, your choice of whatever is most comfortable for you. And for the breath, you will be taking active inhales. Yeah. 
if that makes sense. Passive inhales, active exhales. And so each inhale, it's just going to happen naturally, but your exhales are going to be forceful and your breath is going to be quick. It's going to be almost as if you were panting, um, but not so to where you're hyperventilating. So your exhales are going to be forceful through your nose and your inhales are just going to passively happen after every exhale. For the first few times you do this, it can feel really weird to let go of that control that you have to inhale to learn how to just passively inhale and force for the exhale. All of your attention, all of your effort is on those exhales. Just let the inhales happen. You might notice movement in your stomach as you do it, especially as you start to go faster. You might feel almost like a pumping sensation in your stomach. That is okay. We'll only be doing this for about a minute. That is all you need to do with this breathing exercise. <laughs> Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale out. Place your hands either on tops of your legs or find that cheerleader Y formation with your fist closed. Take a breath in. Forcefully exhale. And begin to forcefully exhale, passively inhale. Keeping all of your effort, all of your control on those active exhales. Let your inhales be passive. Just let them happen naturally. Keep going. Almost there. And release, taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale out. Another nice deep breath in through your nose. And exhale out. If your hands are up, release them back down. Sit with your natural breath for a few moments, letting energies that you created, letting it settle. Practicing breath of fire is a wonderful way to just have a morning jolt, kind of like a shot of espresso. Building up your energy, building up heat. And it's a really awesome tool to learn to control your breath, to be able to control those forceful exhales and just let your inhales come passively. It is a practice within our practice of yoga. Learning to control your breath, it takes time and it takes patience and practice. And so continue to show up and accept yourself where you are and meet yourself there and work from wherever it is. I've been practicing yoga for six years and breath of fire is still tricky. We all move at our own pace. The next exercise that we're going to do in line with building heat and creating energy is lion's breath. We'll do four rounds of this. Lion's breath is a really awesome tool to just let go, to release tension that we hold in our shoulders and chest and neck. We hold a lot of tension there. A lot of times like we don't realize we have our shoulders hunched up. And so learning to let go of that, to release that tension can make a pretty big difference in our mood and in our body mechanics. And to practice lion's breath, you're going to take a nice deep breath in through your nose, and you're going to exhale forcefully out 
sticking out your tongue, opening your mouth wide, even maybe opening your eyes up wide, just letting it go, allowing yourself to take up space and to get loud and to get big because we all deserve to take up the space that we inhabit. So take a nice deep breath in and exhale out. Four rounds, inhale through your nose. Exhale, open your mouth, stick out your tongue. Inhale through your nose. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale softly. Allow yourself to let go of that control and return to your natural breath. Lion's breath is like that afternoon pick me up that we all need at some point. It can help you create confidence within yourself to take up space and to get loud. We have two more breathing exercises. The next one is called two part or transformative breath. It can help us create, increase the oxygenation in our body, release tension within ourselves, create some energy. And at certain points, the feelings that you get from practicing this can be intense and this is a practice that will definitely take time, but the more you show up, the more that you practice, the easier it gets, because the world needs your presence and not your perfection. And so the more you show up, the better it gets. To practice, you are going to place one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly, or you can keep both hands down. It's a little bit easier when you have the one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. You're going to inhale, fill up your belly, inhale, fill up your chest, exhale out. That's why it's called two part, because you're inhaling and filling up your belly first, inhaling, filling up your chest, and exhaling out. We are going to do this at a slow pace, just taking our time. I ask that if you are near water, do not practice this, save it for another time. And make sure that you are in a comfortable and stable position, that you are supported wherever it is that you are seated. Seated. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale out. Begin, inhale belly. Inhale chest. Exhale out. You can practice this breathing in through your nose and breathing out through your nose or breathing in through your mouth and out through your mouth. That is your choice, whatever feels more comfortable and more natural for you, especially if this is new to you. Go with whatever is easiest for you to do. Inhale belly, inhale chest, exhale out. Keep going at a slow, natural pace for you. Breathing, inhaling belly, inhaling chest, exhaling out, moving nice and slow.
inhale belly, inhale chest, exhale out. Few more breaths. Inhaling belly. Inhale chest. Exhale out. One more breath. Release your hands back down. Return to your natural breath. Inhaling and exhaling through your nose. Spending a few moments with your natural breath, letting that energy settle, letting any sensations just settle down. If you are interested in diving more deeply into transformative breath, I invite you to look into Wim Hof and the Wim Hof method. Transformative breath is a version of that. And Wim Hof has done a lot of studies and a lot of studies have been done on him and his methods and the ability that we have to transform our bodies with our breath and the things that we are able to do and endure when we work our breath in a certain way. Just a few more moments with your natural breath before we move on to our last exercise. Our last exercise will be progressive muscle relaxation. To do so, we will just move through our body, doing a body scan from toe to head. And with each breath, we'll inhale, tighten up and tense that area of our body and every exhale release. This is a wonderful way to create that, that mind-body awareness and to kind of move through your body, releasing any tension and becoming aware of any areas that might be like, oh, that's a little tight, that needs a little bit of work. Because awareness is the first step to change. If it is easier for you to have your legs extended out, you can do so. If you'd rather stay cross-legged or whatever position you are in, stay that way. If you are comfortable closing your eyes, I invite you to do so, or if you'd rather keep them open, you can softly gaze at a single point of focus in front of you. Take a nice deep breath in. And exhale out. Inhale, scrunch up your toes. Exhale, release. Inhale, find tension in your entire foot. Exhale, release. Inhale, tighten your calves. Exhale, release. Inhale, pull your kneecaps up, engaging your quads, maybe even your hamstrings. Exhale, release. Inhale, squeeze your pelvic floor. Exhale, release. Inhale, squeeze your glutes. Exhale, release. Inhale, tighten your core, pulling your navel towards your spine. Exhale, release. Inhale, tighten up your chest, flexing your pectoral muscles. Exhale, release. Inhale, pull your shoulders up towards your ear. Exhale, release. Inhale, flex your biceps. 
Exhale, really. Inhale, make a fist, squeezing your head, engaging your forearm muscles. Exhale, release. Inhale, tighten your neck. Exhale, release. Inhale, purse your lips. Exhale, release. Inhale, smile nice and big. Exhale, release. Inhale, scrunch your nose. Exhale, release. Inhale, scrunch your eyes close, squeezing them shut, bringing your cheekbones. Exhale, release. Inhale, for your brow, create crinkles in your forehead. Exhale, release. Inhale, tighten every muscle in your body, squeezing everything from head to toe. Exhale, release. Return to a nice, comfortable position, entering into our Shavasana. Taking a few moments to let the benefit of our practice soak in. Our breath is an extremely powerful tool that we have at our disposal at any time. And the more that we practice with it, the better we are at it controlling it and the better we can use it for our benefit. And the first step is to keep showing up, to keep doing your best. And that is all you need to do. The rest will fall into place. As always, this place, Shavasana, is yours for as long as you need it. Thank you for showing up today and taking the time for yourself, for taking the time to fill up your cup so that you can show up for others and to show up for yourself. The love and light within me sees and respects the love and light within all of you. Ahe and Namaste.